headquartered in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Westport Innovations is a leading developer of engine technologies that enable vehicles to operate on clean-burning alternative fuels. Westport develops high-performance, fuel-efficient internal combustion engines and fuel systems for gaseous fuels such as natural gas, biomethane, and hydrogen. Westport also creates complete solutions for the transition of commercial vehicle fleets from oil-based fuels to natural gas or biogas. By working with global automotive manufacturers from all sectors, Westport is able to incorporate its technologies into an OEM's existing engines and to explore future commercial opportunities for clean vehicles. Welcome to Westport. Westport has developed the GX engine and LNG system for use in heavy-duty trucks and markets them under the Westport HD brand name. This system incorporates Westport's patented HPDI, or High Pressure Direct Injection Technology, to allow diesel engines to use natural gas as the primary engine fuel. The working parts of the engine have not changed. However, the fuel injection, storage and delivery to the engine are unique when compared to a conventional diesel system. This video will cover the additional operator training for trucks equipped with the Westport HD GX engine and LNG system, or Westport HD system for short. The Westport HD system is simple and easy to operate. However, training is required as it incorporates technologies that may be unfamiliar to the heavy-duty truck operator. At Westport, safety is our number one priority. Liquefied natural gas, or LNG, has many advantages over conventional fuels. However, it is important to note that it has properties with which the average customer may be unfamiliar. Because the Westport HD system contains high pressure gas and cryogenic fluids, no unauthorized or untrained person should ever attempt to perform maintenance or repairs on a Westport HD powered truck. When working with LNG, always ensure you are wearing proper protective equipment cryogenic burn injuries could result. Before and after operating your LNG truck, always complete an inspection, both outside and inside the vehicle. When your trip is complete, the truck must be parked outdoors. Be sure to read the operator's manual thoroughly before operating the Westport HD powered truck. The Westport HD system uses two types of fuel, natural gas and diesel. On board the truck, the natural gas is found in two physical states, liquid, or LNG, and compressed gas, or CNG. LNG is natural gas that has been cooled until it condenses to liquid. LNG is colorless, odorless, and is stored at extremely cold temperatures. When warmed, it expands and becomes natural gas vapor, the liquid itself will not burn, but the vapors are flammable. There are many benefits of LNG. Strict rules and codes govern the design and construction of LNG products. LNG tanks are much stronger than diesel tanks, and because liquid natural gas is denser than the vapor, ample fuel can be carried in an LNG tank. LNG is non-toxic, non-flammable, and non-corrosive. The vapors are lighter than air and dissipate up and away to the atmosphere, so no spill cleanup is necessary. LNG is a cryogenic liquid and is therefore extremely cold, with temperatures in the range of minus 162 degrees Celsius or minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit, and is stored at pressures up to 230 PSI. LNG can cause severe frostbite or freeze burns if it comes in contact with your skin. LNG vapor is flammable, so ignition sources should be restricted. Westport recommends no smoking in or around LNG vehicles or fuel stations. Because LNG vapor displaces oxygen, it can cause asphyxiation. Always observe the gas detection system and respond to leaks immediately. Never enter an area where you see a vapor cloud or suspect there might be a large gas leak. Westport has recommended leak response procedures that are described in the operator's manual. 
CNG, or compressed natural gas, is liquefied natural gas that has been put under compressive force in the LNG pump, creating pressures up to 5,000 PSI. This takes place on board the truck inside the LNG tank assembly. CNG is delivered directly to the engine. CNG converted from LNG is also colorless, odorless, non-toxic, and lighter than air. It requires higher temperatures to ignite and has a narrow range of flammability, much less than gasoline or diesel fuel. CNG is stored at extremely high pressures. Persons operating a truck equipped with CNG must be trained in proper safety and inspection procedures. Please be aware that the Westport HD system contains high pressure gas and cryogenic fluids even when the truck is turned off. No unauthorized or untrained person should ever attempt maintenance or repairs on a Westport HD powered truck. Do not turn valves you are unfamiliar with. A serious high pressure blast or cryogenic burn injury could occur. Westport requires the use of ultra low sulfur diesel fuel. If biodiesel is used, there should be no more than a 5% blend, otherwise known as B5. Check your operator's manual for fuel and fluid specifications. A truck equipped with the Westport HD system will have one or more LNG tanks. The LNG tank is a double-walled vessel with vacuum space insulation. It stores LNG at cryogenic temperatures in the range of minus 162 degrees Celsius or minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside the LNG tank, there is a hydraulically driven LNG pump, which puts the gas under a compressive force of up to 5,000 PSI. Utilizing a heat exchanger with hot engine coolant, the pump transforms the LNG into CNG. The engine coolant promotes the change from liquid to gas it is important the coolant glycol level be maintained at a minimum of 50% for the heat exchanger to work properly. This is an internal view of the LNG tank shroud. There is one emergency shutoff valve per tank. The valve can be manual or automatic and shuts off the gas flow from the LNG tank. On models equipped with a manual emergency shutoff, the red handle valve needs a quarter turn to shut off. During normal operation, this valve must be open on models equipped with an automatic valve, no operation is necessary. Please remember to always wear proper personal protective equipment when working with LNG plumbing. There is also a CNG vessel called an accumulator on board the truck. The accumulator acts as storage for a rapid change in fuel demand, as well as a pressure buffer as the LNG pump is stroking. A high-pressure natural gas filter cleans any constituents out of the gas, which then goes into the fuel conditioning module, or FCM, installed on the engine. In addition to a natural gas tank, there is a diesel tank on board the truck. The diesel tank is much smaller because less diesel fuel than natural gas is required for normal operation. Typically, the mixture consists of 95% natural gas and 5% diesel. Due to the increased temperatures required to ignite natural gas, diesel is required for engine combustion and to enable the truck to run in emergencies only at a reduced capacity. The engine will always run on a combination of diesel and natural gas during its normal operation. From the fuel conditioning module, both fuels travel through the fuel rails and into the Westport HD injectors. The injectors then inject natural gas and a small amount of diesel into the engine. This system produces the same amount of power as an equivalent engine that runs solely on diesel. Inside the cab, you'll notice a driver display, which is the driver's interface to the Westport HD system. This display provides important information to the driver, including the LNG fuel level, system messages, and active fault codes. For more information on the driver display, its operation, and a detailed list of system messages, consult the operator's manual. The truck OEM has included gas detection as part of the Westport HD system. 
using a series of visual and audible indicators, this gas detection hardware will alert the driver of a gas leak. The gas detection system monitors two zones, inside the engine bay and inside the cab. These gas sensors are typically mounted on top of the bulkhead inside the engine compartment and at a high point inside the cab. A gas detection display will be installed in the cab. There are several gas detection displays with indicators for trace gas leaks, significant gas leaks, and sensor faults. Consult your Westport Operator's Manual for important information regarding the different indicators for your specific gas monitor display. Before starting your trip, it is important to complete a pre-trip inspection in addition to your normal truck inspection. A typical pre-trip inspection includes the following four steps. Prior to entering the cab, check that the gas indicator light located below the driver's side door is not lit. Once inside the cab, check the gas detection display for warning lights and alarms. Press the test button to verify it is operating correctly. Look inside the engine compartment and check for leaks, tampering or damage. Check inside the LNG tank shrouds for leaks and excessive frosting. Ensure that the safety cap is present on the secondary relief valve. To ensure safety, the following onboard equipment is advised. A minimum 5-pound ABC-rated fire extinguisher, emergency triangles or cones, a flashlight, a cell phone or radio to contact dispatch, fueling personal protective equipment, and the Westport HDGX engine and LNG system operator's manual. If fueling is necessary, be sure to wear personal protective equipment. Westport recommends the following as a minimum. A fire retardant raincoat, long pants, a face shield, heavy leather gloves with a long cuff, and suitable safety boots. Please note that your fleet or fueling station may have different requirements. For detailed information on pre-trip inspections and a sample pre-trip inspection form, refer to your owner's manual. Starting the Westport HD power truck is the same as starting a diesel truck. Just turn the key and fire. Wait for the Westport LNG driver display to show the normal driving screen and follow the directions. If the engine is cold, a message will display indicating the truck is not ready for operation. It reminds the operator that time is needed for the engine to warm up and for a specific coolant temperature to be reached. The truck must not exceed 10 kilometers per hour or six miles per hour when the engine coolant is cold and an audible alarm will sound if the speed limit is exceeded. Check controls and gauges before beginning your trip. Power and torque are the same as with a comparable diesel engine. And engine speed shift points and cruising are the same as those of a diesel version of the Cummins ISX engine. For optimum engine performance, it is recommended to shift between 1200 and 1300 RPM. The engine will be operating in the maximum power zone. For maximum fuel economy, it is recommended that the engine speed when cruising be between 1400 and 1500 RPM. Maximize the percentage of time in top gear and use progressive shifting. Use the full operating range of the engine before gearing down and limit your top speed. To minimize venting, use fuel that is as cold and as low pressure as possible. Fuel the truck immediately prior to your trip and use the truck frequently to ensure the fuel remains cold. Running on diesel or ROD mode is initiated automatically when the fuel system cannot provide enough natural gas to the engine. A message will show on the driver display as on diesel and the driver will have just 10 minutes to operate in this mode. Please note that power is significantly reduced and may be only 10% of normal power. ROD will discontinue if the LNG system has recovered and if the vehicle is once again able to supply enough natural gas to the engine. ROD will also end if the LNG system is unable to recover gas pressure and the truck shuts off. If the ROD message appears on the driver display upon startup of the truck, wait for the message to clear, take note of any other warning messages, and then begin your trip. If ROD does not clear from the monitor and the truck shuts down, contact your service center and report the problem. If the ROD message appears while driving, 
It will be preceded by a prepare to stop message. Look for a safe place to pull off the road, and once off the road, allow the truck to idle. Observe the driver display. If the message clears, you may attempt to continue driving, but report the incident to the service center. If the message continues until the vehicle shuts off, turn the key off and call your dispatch or repair center. Westport HD power trucks may include the following exhaust after treatment systems to meet EPA emission regulations, a diesel particulate filter, and selective catalytic reduction. The diesel particulate filter system traps and removes soot and ash from the engine exhaust. The soot is then removed through a process called regeneration, whereby the soot is burned off the filter. Regeneration can be either passive or active. Passive regeneration is a result of naturally high engine exhaust temperatures. In most cases, the soot is oxidized while driving at higher speeds. No operator intervention is required. However, if passive regeneration does not remove enough soot, the diesel particulate filter system will initiate an automatic active regeneration. A small amount of diesel is injected and oxidized in the exhaust, burning the remaining soot from the filter. In some cases, an automatic active regeneration cannot occur, and the operator will be prompted by a dashboard light to begin a stationary active regeneration. This is achieved using a dashboard switch. Active regeneration produces very hot exhaust, as indicated by another warning light on the dashboard. For safety, it is important that people and combustible materials should be at least five feet away from the truck during a stationary regeneration. Selective catalytic reduction reduces nitrogen oxide emissions from the engine exhaust using diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF. This fluid is colorless, non-toxic, non-flammable, and may have a slight ammonia odor. The fluid is automatically injected into the exhaust stream from the diesel exhaust fluid tank. No driver action is required. The DEF fluid level is indicated by a gauge on the dashboard. A warning will alert the driver if the DEF fluid level is low. Diesel exhaust fluid is readily available at truck stops and OEM dealers. Further information on both selective catalytic reduction and the diesel particulate filter system can be found in both the Westport and your OEM operator's manuals. LNG trucks must always be parked outside. Turning your LNG truck off is the same as turning off a diesel truck. Simply turn the key and shut it off. It is normal for a small amount of gas to vent to the atmosphere once the truck is shut down. This is a normal occurrence and will happen every time the engine fuel demand decreases. Tank relief valves are set to open automatically at 230 PSI and cannot be disabled. Gas will vent out through one of the two vent stacks located behind the cab. Never allow the truck to vent or leak in an enclosed space as the gas will rise and collect in areas where there may be an ignition source which may ignite the gas. A post-trip inspection, which is the same as the pre-trip inspection, should be performed once the truck is parked. In the event of an emergency, find a safe spot to pull over and turn off the engine. Call emergency responders and inform them that LNG and CNG are on board the truck. Clear and secure the largest perimeter that is practical and inform the shop of the emergency. An emergency is considered to be a fire on board the vehicle, an uncontrolled severe natural gas leak, or any other circumstance requiring emergency responders. If your truck needs to be towed, please review the towing information in the operator's manual. Ensure the truck is not leaking natural gas before commencing any towing or recovery. If there is a leak, follow proper leak handling procedures. Inform the towing company that natural gas is on board and that the truck must not be parked indoors. Trucks must be towed to an authorized repair center. Please consult the operator's manual for the maintenance schedule as well as for fluid and fuel specifications. 
Proper maintenance is required for the gas system to operate reliably. There is a requirement to test the truck's gas detection unit to ensure that the sensors are functioning properly. An inspection of the CNG system is mandatory and the interval varies depending on the region in which the truck is operated. For these requirements, check with your local authorities or contact your local Westport representative. Maintenance should only be performed by technicians trained to work on the Westport GX engine and LNG system. Contact Westport Service for a list of approved shops. Failure to complete the recommended maintenance will void the warranty. For customer service, contact the local service customer support representative in your area. Westport Service can coordinate repairs and maintenance with an approved repair facility. Westport can also provide warranty administration, training and training support for drivers and technicians. For more information, visit our website at service.westport-hd.com.